Hello, in this video, we will look at the Materials and Textures tab of the Properties panel in Blender. So first, the Materials tab. So let's select our cylinder and let's create a new material for our cylinder. So as you can see, we've created a new material. Here you can define the overall shader of your 3D objects. That is the overall look and feel of the material of your object. Blender now uses cycles and have pretty much phased out the, its own Blender internal renderer. Well, at least at time of shooting of this video. The texturing is done within the node system, which we'll look at a later video. But basically, this tab shows pretty much a bird's eye view of all the shaders and materials that your 3D object possesses. So you can have multiple materials and define different materials. So you can have a, for example, a reflective or glossy. You can have a glossy or reflective material for that. You can have one that's uh, glass and you can have another one that is a light. And this can affect different different parts of your 3D object. Oh, also I forgot to mention that there's also a preview uh, section here where you can sort of see a preview of your material. So emission, that is the light. You can see what it looks like here. This is what your glass looks like. This is what your reflective material looks like. This is what your basic diffuse shader looks like. So let's move on to the textures tab. The textures tab has sort of become redundant now with the advent of cycles, but it does have its uses, especially to define brushes when it comes to, you know, things like sculpting and, uh, you know, displacement work. That is like when you, when you want to create bumps for your uh, textures and things like that. And also when you want to create procedural textures um, or, and also the sky as well, I guess. But yeah, when you want to create procedural textures, this also becomes useful. What are procedural textures? Well, you can sort of think of them as textures that are created by Matt's formulas rather than from a scanned photo image. Yeah, that, that, that's pretty much the basics of the materials and textures tab. It allows you to create the look and feel of your 3D objects. In the next video, we will look at the particle and physics tab.